Hey guys, I'm so excited to be here again. Happy Friday. Who's here with us? How are you guys doing? Let's just wait for a few more minutes to see who else is going to join. And let me make sure, let me invite some of my girls who are waiting. So this is my no makeup look. <laughs> I have done my eyebrows already. And you guys are going to have to forgive me because I'm very tired. I was I drove like six hours yesterday and we were in New York City. It was freezing. Oh my God. It felt like negative 25. I could not feel my fingers or my lips. But um, yeah, I promised you guys I would be here. So here I am. And uh, let's get started. So, you know, this is going to be a very natural look, very like nude makeup. So sometimes when you're tired, it's hard to put on a lot of makeup and you still want to go out and look good. So let's see what we're going to do. First thing first, I hope you guys have uh, a base that you're ready. So let's, uh, let's put on our base. So I'm going to use, this is the one I use, I use Lancome. And this one is a matte finish because I have oily skin. So I really like this one. My favorite brush broke, but I still use this thing. I love this thing. If you guys haven't invested in this brush, please, you must, you must. So let's start with this. So I'm just gonna put this all over. And if you guys, if you guys can't see properly or you have any questions, please ask me. All right, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of base all over. Put this up here. Oh, before I do that, I wanted to show you guys. Look, something so cute. <laughs> Look at this. This is a sharpener from my makeup pencil. Isn't this so cool? See? I got it from London when I went this last time. So this is what I use to sharpen my lip liners. So nice. Okay. Alright, so let's get started. So I just want to put a little bit of my base and get this started. I did my eyebrows before I got on, guys, because it takes a little bit of time. So let's put this on. So you guys should be putting on your base as well. So we can follow along when we get to the eyes. And we're going to make the eyes with three colors today. Did you guys have your color set? I look very tired. I didn't get too much set. I slept for like two hours. I'm also in the middle of a move. So like 90% of my stuff is in boxes. But I, I told my husband and my kids, I said, Whatever you do, do not touch my makeup. I said, my makeup will go with me in the car. We have our base on, and like I said, you don't want to overdo it. So let's get started first with our eyes, and then we'll move to a little bit of the contouring and the blush, and then we'll finish up with the lips. Okay, if you guys have any questions, if you need me to slow down or you want to know a specific color, please do ask. Maybe I should have you guys get your blushes out. So when we, somebody had asked what kind of blush, you want to go with the natural blush. You see, this is very natural. This company is called Jordan. You can find this on Amazon, and you can even find it in the pharmacy. They're really cheap. It's like a couple of bucks. This color here is called 15 Terracotta. Let me show you the back here. Right here, you see? 15 Terracotta. Sometimes you don't have to spend a lot to get really nice colors. So let's get started with our eye makeup. You're going to need a base. I use NYX and I use the medium color right here. And you're also going to need an eyeliner. I am going to use, I have my stuff in a basket here. That's why I keep looking this way. I, I actually have it in my daughter's uh, Lego box because I don't know where all my stuff is. So I'm going to use a uh, Lancome Noir. This is a waterproof eyeliner. I like that you can smudge on this side and I don't have to sharpen it because it's automatic so I'm going to be using that and then I have my MAC palette here with my most favorite colors these are very earth tone colors you see right here and so let's go let's gonna let's do I'm gonna do this color here this cream color dazzle and then we're gonna move on to this soft brown if you guys can invest in this one oh my god this is like a rescue color for nudes this color is called Saddle. I don't know if you can see it in the light, but really awesome color when you just want a little hint of a on your crease. And then we're going to touch up with this color here. It's called Embark. 
I like that color too. It's also very versatile. You can use it on a day when you want to have noon makeup and you can also use it like on party days. It just kind of depends on how heavy you go, how many layers you put in and the pressure you put on. So those are the three colors we're using. If I feel like adding a little bit more towards the end, we can do so. We're going to do that. And I did actually put aside another color. This is a single color by uh, Lancome. It's called Macchino Matte. So if you take a look at this. It's in between gray and brown, I would say. Like, it's not gray and it's not brown. And I, I just love this color. It's like, if you don't have time to think, this is your color. This is your everyday go-to color. So let me put that on the side. I have my brushes ready. And let's get started. Okay, you want to start with your lid brush. So, just take a flat brush like this. And I'm going to dip it in this one here. Right here, the light color. I'm so tired so when I'm this tired I love doing nude looks because you don't feel like you're wearing a lot even though you might be wearing the same amount but the colors just they look so peaceful on your skin all right so we're just gonna take this and we're gonna put it all over from the lash to the brow because it's not a heavy color so you can do that you guys can see and just go all the way up Oh, just so you guys know, I did apply this base before I came live. So if you didn't apply your base yet, please make sure you apply your base first. So you just want to take your base. I can apply the base again on the other side for you so you guys can see. Just do two layers. So let's just take a little bit of the base. So this is the... I've already done it, but I'm just going to do it again for you guys. And you just kind of apply. And I love this color. I mean, it's so natural. They sell the base in a darker color if you're darker toned. And they also sell it in a white. I will use a white on days where I want to use like silver color on my lids. It's really amazing. And it's so cheap. I think it runs me like $5.99. So I like to put it all over. And I like to get underneath my lash here. And just put some here too. Yeah, like I said, since we're doing nude, I don't want to overdo it. So I can put this on the link again, but it's NYX. And I think it's very easy to find everywhere. Okay, so let's do the base on the other side as well. I mean, um, the cream color. I just want to take it and put it everywhere. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my black liner. And I'm going to just swipe back and forth above my lashes to give it a little bit more of a dimension, okay? So we're just going to go like this and I'm just going to go back and forth. I'm not giving myself a cat eye yet. I'm just going back and forth a little bit. A little bit of base. And if you notice, I did not go all the way because when you go all the way, then it gets um, it gets more like, you know, heavy makeup and we're not that's not the look we're going for. Yeah, see, just a little bit. And we're going to use this color right here, the saddle that I mentioned earlier. If you guys, do you guys have a similar color? Okay, just dip it a little bit. And you're gonna go above your crease, not in your crease, you're just gonna go above the brow bone, place it here, and swipe up. You see that? You see? Just go forward. Kind of stop right there. It looks a lot right now, but we're going to blend it so that you can't really see where one color stop, starts and the other color stops. Right there. And if you can see, my movement is very short moves because I'm putting in, in with very light pressure. And bring it down a little bit. And then before I blend it, I like to let it sit there for a little while. So you can get in there before I do the total blending. And then you're going to take your contour brush for your eye. And we're going to go with the darker color, which is right here. You guys remember the trick that I told you with the tissue? Let's do that. Okay. If you guys can do it freehand, then go ahead. And if you can't, use a tissue. 
There you go. I'm going to take the dark color and you're going to take the edge of your brush. You're going to dip it this way and a little bit to the side so that it's not all over your brush. See? You can see it's just at the tip. Okay. You don't want to go too far out because you want the nude look. So you shorten it up a little bit. You take the tip and you start blending towards the middle. I don't have to close one eye to show you guys. Okay. So go forward a little bit like this. Such a pretty color. Oh my God. It, you can't really tell in the cell phone. It's such a pretty color. All right, same thing on the other side. Let me move my hair. Okay. I love using the tip of the brush. I feel like it gives me more control. But I will take my blending brush. I'm not gonna put anything on it. I'm just gonna go back and forth here a little bit. And same here, a little bit. And then we're gonna go back to the top and I'm gonna blend it all together. Nudes tend to look very sexy when you blend it because as you're talking and you're looking down when you're having a conversation, people don't know what you did. <laughs> like, you know, you, when you have a dramatic eye, you can see like all the different colors and the textures. But with a nude eye, they can't really tell what colors you use or how you blended it. So it just, it's a very sultry look. Okay, this is a little bit bigger than the last one. And I'm going to take the same color saddle. And I'm just going to place this color right here. Again, you see how I'm putting it? Just the tip. Look at that, guys. Can you see that? If you guys can see that, let me know. I want to make sure it's clear. I'm only putting it in the middle of my lid where I blend it. I've also used Saddle and Embark. They run for like, I think, $12 each. So I'm just blending in the crease color that I just put in. Oh my god, I love this nude look. Look. Can you guys see that? It's really hard with this lighting. Let me see. Can you guys see? I love how you can see a little bit of the shimmer. Okay. Now here's a trick that I absolutely love. Okay. So what you're going to do is... A lot of the times I know when people put the color on the top, they put the same color on the bottom. I tend to do very different colors. I don't like to use the color that I put on my shadow to use on the bottom unless I'm doing like a black or a dark brown. This color here is the Macuccino that I told you guys about. And I just want to give myself a little bit of a lift underneath my eye. And I'm going to try not to use the black liner. So grab the color that you're going to put on the bottom. If you have uh, gray areas, you need to get something that's peach, depending on your skin tone color. If your color is very dark, go for a darker peach. And if your color is light, then go for a lighter peach. I'm in the medium, so I tend to choose things that have a little bit more yellow. So I'm just gonna take a flat brush like this. I'm dipping it from the edge, back and forth. Back and forth, so there's plenty on here. Tap my brush, and I'm gonna line underneath. I'm holding the tissue because I don't want it to fall out. I've already done my foundation. You can do your eyes first if you want to. But when I do a nude look, I put my base first. And when I do a dramatic look, I do my eyes first. So this is what we're going to do. You're going to take the bottom, you're going to go underneath, and you're going to go all the way up. I want you to leave the sharp look for now, and we'll get back to it later. You see that? Okay, look at that. I love it. Oh my god, wait till we put on the liner and the mascara. It's gonna look so good. Okay, where is it? So then you're gonna take the blending brush and this edge that you made right here, you're gonna blend it upwards. Not so much that you get rid of it, but enough that it looks blended. So just with a very light hand. There we go. Yeah, look at how those colors just blend it all together. So we put about four colors total. We have Dazzleite, which is right here. Then we have Saddle right in the middle. We have the Embark on the edge here. We put the Saddle right up here. 
Above that, we have the dazzle light going on, and underneath, we have the mochaccino. So the cool thing about what we've done here is that because we've already done the mochaccino underneath, you can just follow the liner along and bring it out a little bit. Hmm. See? And same thing here. Can you guys see? And then take the concealer brush and clean up underneath. What we're not gonna do is a liner underneath today because we wanna have our eyes look whiter. Okay, there's that. Lying. Look at that, guys. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is mascara. But today I'm gonna use Chanel. It's Chanel La Volume. It's a really nice mascara, but this is more for like a natural look. Because our whole point is that we don't want to look like we're overdoing it. And make sure you get to the edge. I know sometimes a lot of girls they don't get to the edge. Make sure you get to the edge. See, if you wiggle too much, it starts to get clumpy. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Look at that. I should have curled my lashes first. Okay. Now because I already have the mochaccino underneath, I'm just going to do the mascara underneath as well. But I do it with a very soft hand. Because I'm not doing the liner today. See? Guys, I have so many reds. Oh my god, if you could only see my makeup drawer, he'd be like, what can one woman do with that many reds? But I can. Okay. I know it's a really so, popular trend right now to wear like white in your eyes. So if you have a white liner, you can go ahead and put it on. I think I have a silver one somewhere. I'm looking for it. Oh, great. So here's another trick. If you have a fat liner, and it can't really fit in your waterline, you can just take like a really thin brush and then put it in your waterline. This one here is by Milani. And just put it in your waterline. Give it a little bit of a clean look. All right, let's move on to the rest of the face. This is perfect when I'm done with you guys. I have an appointment and I won't have to do my makeup for that. Works out for me. Okay, so let's do um, let's do the blush and the cheeks that we were talking about. Do you have your bronzer ready? Okay, I have a couple of choices. So I have, where did I put? My all time favorite bronzer, Laguna by NARS. As you can see how much I have left. Whoops. I really need to get another one of these. I haven't gotten it yet because I'm debating between that one. And I also like is Bare Minerals. So I'm going to mix these two up. And you should have like a bronzer brush. Like this. And just dip it a little bit. Okay. Okay. So you just... Go back and forth until you feel like you've done enough. I usually like to do more and then tone it down until you can see enough color. I'm not really going to go crazy with the contouring today. We're going to do a little bit. So take out your contour palette. I like to use either this one. This is by Anastasia. It has uh, three colors on the bottom, three on the top. It comes in fair, medium, and light. And then I have these max also as well. So let's go ahead and use this one. 
and I'm going to use remember my tutorial with these brushes I'm gonna use this one so I'm gonna dip it in the lightest color because I want to go nude today just put a little line right there before I blend you see and same thing on the other side I'm also going to take it on a little bit on my nose. Just swipe it up and down. Because it's a light color, I don't have to press so hard. I love this thing. Whoever came up with it is a genius, I tell you. Genius. Makes life easier. Here's my favorite broken brush. Just take it and blend it a little bit to the top. There we go. Okay. And... What we're going to do now is that blush that I showed you earlier. Grab your blushes, ladies. Alright, so you can either use this one. I'm going to use a Cedar Rose by Lancome. And let me get that, my blush brush. Here's my blush brush. Okay, and just dip it a little bit. Again, just at the tip and put it above your bronzer so like right here and then this is called draping when you go back and forth so you can see the color is not so much but today I just want to have like a nude look so I'm not gonna really do that I like having this really nice simple nude look and for those of you that have smooth skin this look even nicer and if you don't then you have to use a lot of primer like I do see no matter how much I put on it still looks very natural and then when I blend it it's gonna look even better but we're still gonna go back to the blush after we put on our highlighter okay so let me blend this sorry guys I'm getting so many notifications this is almost like a very nice summer look too like if you're gonna go to the beach like a white tank top and like jeans and like hot like sandals and flip flops okay so let's do the highlighter i picked out um this one here i have my mac prep and prime here this is a pen version and i also have here a mac highlighter this one is called beaming blush i like this one because it's not as strong as the huda and the anastasia ones just gonna do a little bit right here. So take a little bit of the highlighter. Too much. So I'm just going to take my favorite brush and start blending. This thing works like a charm. Crap, like don't okay, there we go. Just kind of make sure it blended really well. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this highlighter and use your bronzer brush, right? Because you still have a little bronzer left. That's a trick so that it's not too much highlighting. Just a little bit. Really, don't overdo it because we're doing a very nude look. So you really don't want to do too much. I'll remember to take a selfie and post it with my finished look later. Alright, that's that. Okay. Let's go for lips. Let's go for lips. Let me see. Let me show you my choices and maybe you guys can help me choose. Okay. Obviously, I have so many choices. I'm excited. I love this part. This is my favorite part of makeup. I have this liner here that I absolutely love. It's called uh, Bronzel. I will never, ever cheat on this liner. So we can start with the liner. It is so hard to choose. Choose one, Sidra. Your call. Which one do you want me to put on? Okay. So I'm just going to put the lip liner. I love when I get to the sweetheart line. Okay. You guys want me to go with MAC? Well, that's the lip gloss, but I need to put the base underneath. So, which base do you want me to go? 
All right, let's do this one. Let's do number 217. Love this color. Oh my God. Love, 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 love. Love, love, love this color. I don't care how many mats come in the style. I will never stop loving this color. Oh my God. Look at that color. Oh my gosh. Really guys, like, you really need to see it in person. I'm gonna use my liner. Go one more time. I'm wearing my gym clothes, but now I have all this makeup on. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so hilarious. My husband is so used to me. Like, he's like, you're gonna go to the gym like that? Okay, okay. So this is a boy bait lip gloss I showed you about. And you're just gonna have to apply it right here. See, it gives a little extra oomph to the lips. And that's my nude look, guys. All right. So, yeah. So, that's the look. What do you guys think? See? So, let's go back. Look at the eyes. You can see all the colors right here. We have the Dazzleite, the Saddle, the Embark, the Saddle up here, and the Dazzleite up there as well. We've done the liner. We have Chanel. We have Mocha Chino underneath going up. We did the bronzer, we did the highlighter, we did the blush, the liner, the lip gloss, and um, the lipstick. What do you guys think? Very nude, very natural look. So what you want to do is, if you want to make it darker, I would suggest that you what you can do is, instead of the saddle, you can take the Embark or a darker color and go even further, like to the middle. And then blend it out even more. That way it will give you a more of like a nude smoky eye. But for me, when I wear a light color, my eyes tend to look bigger. And the bigger the better for me. I think I have a palette. Let me see if I still have it. Yeah, this would be like the perfect example of what I just mixed up. If you find a, a palette like this, this is essentially exactly what I did. So this would be similar to the Dazzleite. This would be similar to the saddle, and this would be similar to the embark, and this would be similar to that, um, what was the name of that blush from Jordan? Uh, terracotta. Yeah, so if you find a palette like this, this is 100% perfect for a nude look. And you just take those colors and you blend, blend, blend. The more you blend, the better it looks. So All right. Can you guys see clearly? Because I know sometimes it gets really blurry. Well, anyway, this is better lighting to see the nude makeup. So you can see the blush right here. Lipsticks. Yeah, very nice nude color. Like, you see, we put on so much, but it doesn't look like that much. It looks very simple. That's what I like about this. Yes. All right. Okay, so that was the nude look for today. Um, please, as always, guys, if you really like what I've done, comment below and let me know how you feel about it. Let me know what you've learned, what you took from this, what you didn't like, so that I can improve for next time. Did I answer all your questions? And is there any other questions that you have? I mean, I really try to go out of my way for you guys. You guys mean everything to me. I tell you that every single time. I know I get busy. I'm in the middle of a move and everything, but... Um, you guys mean a lot to me. Please, guys, add your friends. Get some more people in this group. You know, my biggest wish is to grow this group infinitely. And, you know, bring your friends onto this group. Invite everybody you know. And, uh, you know, help us grow. You know, help me grow. I would really, really love that. And um, thank you for joining. Thank you for giving me your time as well. Without you, there is no me. So I love you guys. Each and every one of you is so beautiful. You can friend me on Facebook. I never say no. And, um... Have a great day, guys. Really, have an awesome, fantabulous day. It is Friday, so Juma Mubarak to all of you lovely ladies. And I gotta also go pray too. So, inshallah, I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll join again next time. Bye. Just love you all.